welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. On my channel, I post videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. And today, I'm carrying on my series of decluttering. So I've already done the kitchen, I've done the living room, the dining room and today we are in the hallway. So I've got understairs cupboard to sort through and I've got where we keep our shoes and other, I don't even know what's in those drawers. That's what I'm gonna focus on today. This week is also, it's the hall stairs, don't need doing, and the landing, which will be the airing cupboard. So that will be like tomorrow or the next day, but also the bathroom, which is the, just up there. Um, because obviously the hall stairs and landing is not really that much and the bathroom isn't that much in terms of storage and decluttering so I've just bundled them all together so you will see hall, landing and bathroom throughout this video. So I'm going to start off with the shoes. Only our everyday shoes should be here so if there's anything seasonal or like best party shoes or anything like that they just do not need to be in here. So I'm going to get them all out, put them into pairs, and then put back the ones that are the everyday ones. So that really didn't take any time at all. I'm going to make my way through these drawers now. cupboard which hasn't got much in it here but there's a drawer um, a box that needs sorting out so I'll do that and just tidy this up because there's probably some stuff on the floor that just doesn't need to be on the floor stairs and landing is my airing cupboard and um we've got nappies drying in here because we use reusable nappies and we've got towels i will show you my, my amount of toilet roll uh in a minute uh and then we've got blankets and bedding he here and more bedding up there um a lot of it is spare bedding for the spare bedroom but I need to work out like I don't need millions and millions of different duvets so I need to work out what ones I'm going to get rid of um, and that needs to go downstairs actually that's my door stop because I had a Christmas one and now I just have a normal one. Oh, god I'm dreading it I'm, I can't even bear the idea of getting it all out space for nappies so when I can just put them in there to dry them um I usually hang some on that but it's gone all bent so I'm gonna get rid of that don't need that um so I'm gonna show you my toilet rolls some may say I have a problem I say I buy in bulk and I never run out but there is nowhere else to store them. So they live here, neatly stacked up. There are 48 here, because we've just had a new delivery of toilet rolls. We get them from Who Gives a Crap. Um, and so they're, they're wrapped in paper instead of plastic. Um, yeah, that's basically the bottom. So it doesn't need sorting. They are neatly stacked. That is that. Um, but yeah, I do have a slight problem. My mom, 
when I was growing up, would never let her uh, toilet rolls go below 10 because otherwise, oh my God, what if you run out of toilet roll? And so I am the same. If they ever drop below 10, I'm like, oh my God, is my next delivery coming? Because they just like come automatically. Um, if it drops below 10, I start to get a bit like, <laughs> so yeah, just had a new delivery, 48, I'm good. My mum got them. Where is it? Where's the name? Personalised Christmas bedding. So that obviously just stays ready for Christmas. And a duvet. That's his Peter Rabbit duvet for him. For when his big boy bit. These are special inhabitants which I explained on one of my Instagram lives, but they have to live in here. I'll give you a little shake. Hang on. So, they have to live in there until next year. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna put our beach towels here. They're just for the beach. And then these are our everyday towels and then space for nappies. Um, I think I'm done. I'm gonna get rid of all the other stuff. I'll show you what I'm gonna get rid of. And there's the white sheets that I need to work out because I don't need three double sheets for a spare bed. Um, so I'll just keep two just in case we, for whatever reason, have a quick succession changeover. And um, that's much better, much neater. So I threw it down the stairs before I filmed it. So um, there's just a few towels and a blanket and some bedding that I'm gonna be getting rid of. Also forgot to show you the back of the door. Um, so I've got my like microfiber -y towels and this is a really cool towel. It's like a, a strappy thing that you just wear like if you were going swimming or on the beach or like in a pri uh, place with a shed, like we go camping so there's shed, showers um, and you just like put it over, um, save tucking the towel in, you know? So you wear it like a dress uh, and then my dressing gown. So today is the last day of the week. I've finished the whole stairs and landing and I'm in the bathroom. So I need to declutter my windowsill and just tidy up the sink area. Nothing really there. The main thing, got a from the decorating at the weekend got a pad the main thing is the stuff overflowing that just isn't going in here so I need to sort this unit out and make sure there's just nothing in it that we don't want to keep anymore I don't even know why I keep things out like obviously the soap dishes can't go away, but I'm gonna make a space so that things just come out when we need to use them. They don't need to live out all the time, do they? Mind blowing, but I don't know why I've never thought of it before. Like some of these, like we don't use shampoo anymore. Um, we only use, well this is conditioner actually, but we use the Curly Girl Safe conditioner, so but I might just use it up because this is Grace. Like it, she doesn't have curly hair, so she could use that um, sun cream. This obviously I don't have any babies anymore, but this is good for stripping your hair down for curly girl method. So if ever it ever built up, I could start afresh with this. So that's fine. <laughs> squeeze everything in obviously there are a lot of excess products like I said we just haven't been using them because we've been using the lush stuff so it is a bit overcrowded that's just because I need to use up things like the blonde shampoo we also have loads of disposable razors which um 
I don't even know how I'm going to get them used up. And about a million and one Savlons. Savlons and all, like, just loads of them. And different nappy creams and metaniums and things. Um, which, well, they will get used up. So eventually, they'll all get used up and it will be emptier in there. But I'm not going to... We use them, so... Although the nappy creams, probably not so much. Maybe I can give them to someone who's just had a new baby. I'll be like, here, have some, have all the nappy creams. I will see. Um, I've got a couple of friends who've had babies. I'll say, see if they want them. If not, I might list them on that site that people, you know, you just give it away for free um, on there. I can't remember what it's called. There's an app that you can put things on there um, and people will just, come and get them because they want them so um i might do that something just went wrong with my camera so what i just filmed uh is gone and i'm not going to put it all back just to sit, show you again basically i've removed the pole that was along here and i've got rid of the basket and these were the toys that were left and there was a minging old sponge thing uh here here which uh, is gone gross so that's going and a couple of lids and whatever so these are actually the only toys that are left which that's not even that bad um this needs a good old clean up and then this one the wall's just disgusting so i'm just gonna wipe that all around but um actually there's not that many toys so I might just allow them to have them in the corner or something, but we don't need the bar and the basket. It just makes the whole room look cluttered. That's uh, done, basically. I just need to put them back there. I'll show you what is uh, to get rid of in a second. I know you like watching that, but otherwise I'll be back next week with the next instalment. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you get notifications. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.